What's going on everyone? It is Joe Lawnware, and in today's video my lawn is going to sleep. Let me explain. So it's hot here in Jersey. I mean it is it's super hot and it's we're actually going into a drought. We've had a bunch of heat waves. Uh, New Jersey actually might restrict watering here in the, in the next week or two. So I'm gonna have to probably cut back on my sprinkler system. I'm watering up to three times a week right now. So I'm trying to do four days a week, but it's just hard to keep up with it. You know, sometimes even though you have a sprinkler system, you think you're getting down enough water, it's, it's you're just not. And really not much I can do. Um, I'm not using hydrogen or anything like that. I've strictly just have had water on my lawn and that's it. And to be honest, for the most part, my lawn has really held it together up to, I would say about a week or two ago when it just got really hot here, like I said, in Jersey in August. I mean, we were seeing some temperatures where, you know, the heat with the heat index, we were seeing above a hundred and, you know, just it's that time of the year, you know? And, but the best part is, is if you trust the process, like I always say, is what is to come. So this area of my yard right here, this has seen it the worst. Sorry about my neighbor's air conditioning unit. It's really loud right now, but you can see this side right here is starting to really go dormant. Not a whole lot I can do, but you know what? Like I said, September, it's right around the corner. But the best part is obviously, you know, with grass, it can go dormant, it can come back to life. That's the great part. What I was trying to do, my main goal this year was to get through the summertime, have as much grass as, as possible to survive. And you know what? It's really held together. This Mountain View seed, I'll give it a ton of credit. It has done a great job. Um, you know, like I said, even with these high temps, for the most part, my lawn looks really good. So the side of my house over here it has done really well. Obviously, it gets some shade from this tree right here. Then also this tree right here gets some shade. So that helps this section over here. I would say that most, the, sun, the, the sunniest part of my lawn is that section out there over that I just showed you on the other side of my driveway. The sun rises across the street from my neighbor's house, sets behind my house. There are a lot of trees in the back for my neighbor as well. That kind of blocks the sun in the afternoon, but that, that gets the, that's the sunniest part of my lawn. So I would expect that to go dormant before the other sections. And that's kind of what has, I, I that's what I've seen this year. Um, I, could I up the sprinkler coverage over there? Of course. But for me, it's okay. I know that grass can go dormant. I know that it's going to come back. That was my main goal this year. Like I said, was to get through the summertime with the most, obviously the most grass that can survive, you know, the, not have a lot of problem areas. And that's what I've seen. You know, I've learned a couple lessons this year with fungicide and different things like that. So that was for another video for my fertilizer program next year. But the main thing is, is the grass, when I said it's just going to sleep, it's just going dormant. Come the fall time, when we get those cooler temps here in Jersey, throw down the seed, get back to watering, everything's gonna come back to life. So just a quick video for you guys here today. All I just wanted to show was my lawn is starting to go dormant, but if you trust the process, things will come back to life. That's a Philly motto, by the way. Trust the process. 76ers thing, go check it out if you didn't know that already. But that's my motto as well, trust the process. That's what I did last year. My lawn has looked really great this year. And I can't wait for September. We get down to those cooler temps here in Jersey. We do the fall overseed over uh, Labor Day weekend and everything's just gonna look so great going into Halloween and the future months into next year. So let me know how you guys are making out at home and your home states. Let me know where you guys are at. If you're going dormant, do you have water restrictions like I might be get dealing with? Leave it down in the comment section below. Let me know how you're making out. If you enjoyed today's video, guys, if you found today's video helpful, make sure you smash that like button. It really does help out with the channel. If you're interested in any of my other content, I'm available on Instagram. I'm available on TikTok. Go check me out there. And like always, guys, I'll see you in the next one. It's me. I've seen, I saw it last year in a couple sections. Mr. Softy's coming by. Anybody want some Mr. Softy? Leave a comment below. What's your favorite Mr. Softy?